What is going on, my YouTube friends, my Patreon friends, my New Zealand friends? Hold on, hold on, hold on. My New Zealand friends, I've been looking at y'all's weather, and it looks like it's still pretty mild. Pretty mild. What do we got? A little bit of rain. High teens. Bro, we're getting into our minus 30 season. Come on now. Come on now. It's getting disgusting out there. It's getting disgusting out there. Um, okay, so I got a couple of interesting things here. One, I'm trying to get a, someone's attention, but I'm also following up on a super thanks on YouTube. So I got a couple things going on here. So my friend Donna left me a thanks on the last Stan Walker video I did, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the love and support. You have no idea, especially this time of year, how much it helps. Um, and uh, I would like a request along with that. So if y'all are going to donate to the channel... Drop your request, my friends. Drop your request. Like, come on now. So AJ, or yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume it's AJ, um, replied with a request. Stan Walker, don't dream it's over from Crowded House. Or it's a Crowded House cover, sorry. Um, and it's the same backing vocalist. So I was uh, I was looking at this, um, and it looks like he's singing into a different microphone than last time. He was singing into the Telefunken uh, U47, which I have my clone out today just because it's also a tube microphone. Um, today, I think he's singing into a Neumann U87. And like for all intents and purposes, they do the same kind of thing, right? Like they're, um, that microphone has different standard settings than this microphone. So I tried to match it as kind of a best I could ba based on assumptions. Um, let me show you this. So this is kind of my input channel. And all I've really done is added a, a high frequency or a high pass filter. So that's just going to get rid of anything below a certain set and um stan walker's microphone and this has a setting for that and i'm just assuming that they're using it other than that i have it pretty much just left flat and just squashed a bit so i don't rip your guys's head off so um but i will talk about that a little bit more if that uh, gets showcased a little bit more i just want to bring the tube microphone out so i could kind of demonstrate a little bit more of what happens when you bark into it like a tube microphone like this and i can see i'm clipping still a little bit so i'm just going to turn it down uh but my friends i appreciate the support i appreciate the love uh this is only my second time here in stan walker so we're in for it we're in for it um if you like these kind of breakdowns these kind of reactions me rambling like this don't forget to like and subscribe you can check me out on patreon and send me your links get some shout outs my friends let's do this this looks like a great guitar too i love the color <laughs> Backing vocalist, okay, okay, okay. Before we get into this, so it sa uh, stands in the um, in the isolation booth this time. So he's in his own room. They might even have instead of the microphone being on like a cardioid pickup like mine is right now, where it only kind of picks up here. They might have it in the whole thing if they like how the wood sounds, if they like how the body of it sounds with his voice, um, or they could just have it on a dynamic setting like this, and they just don't want any room noise to interrupt, you know, his voice, right? So he won. A, he won the um, like the idol, the New Zealand idol right right is that what that what happened there is freedom within cool. there is freedom without try to catch the deluge in a paper cup and there's a battle ahead many battles are lost but you never see the end of the road while you're traveling with me He's so gentle, like he doesn't utilize, he doesn't utilize like a press dynamic to do the runs and the riffs, right? So like there's a few different ways that you can do runs like that. One of them is you kind of hit the first note hard or you can kind of like trail off of it. Another one is you can use your jaws, like a, a physical movement to change like airflow, pitch, um, direction. You can go wide, you can go up and down, that kind of thing. Another one is just like the like more gospel kind of version where you're just like, you're just quick at flipping notes. You don't need like a structural change, right? But I'm amazed at like how gentle he can do that and still control his runs like that and keep them quick and keep them so articulated, you know? You know? It's nice. It's nice. It sounds great. It sounds real nice. Hey now, hey now, don't dream. Wow, all these backing vocalists too, man. Oh, any one of these could be superstars. Any one of these could be superstars. This is gorgeous. Cool. 
Stunning. Stunning. I wish I knew what they were saying, man, but this is beautiful. And I kind of like that from time to time. I, I get told I got to pay attention to lyrics more often, but sometimes I like not knowing what's going on because then you can just like listen to it, the structure of it and how the like syllables line up. And this is stunning. You can see half these backing vocalists have like one of, one of their in-ears or one of their cans off, one of their headphones off. And I'd want to hear it too. I'd want to hear all these voices. This is too bad that Stan Walker's in the other room. <laughs> and, you know, like I'll backpedal a little bit. Everyone's got, you know, Stan's vocal in the, in, your, in their ears and their cans. I have my in-ears in. That's why I keep saying that. Um, and like you can pick, each person can pick how they want their mix to line up. So you can pick how much guitar you want from the Kemper here. Kemper's are beautiful. I used to have one. It's a profiling guitar amp. Um, you can pick down to each vocalist how much you want maybe you want a little more of that one because your cues line up more maybe this one's a little like a counter melody and it throws you off so you want a little less of it like whatever you want right it's it's fantastic i'm so glad that this is captured this way because like how beautiful how beautiful i'll talk about the tube mic after because i'm just stunned by these vocals boy, 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 boy. Tasty too. He's not overdoing the runs. He's not like, you know, trying to show off or anything. Like it's very emotionally driven, right? Very emotionally driven. Ooh, yeah. There is freedom within. There is freedom without. Trying to catch the down you in a paper cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a battle ahead. Many battles are lost, but you'll never see the end of the road while you're traveling with me. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm talking over it because I know I'm going back up. I like I like the staccato in the backing vocalist. The hey now, hey now, instead of like the carrying it over. The only other cover I've seen of this is um. Though the one that's sticking out in my head right now is uh, Miley Cyrus and Ariana Grande, and like fantastic cover, fantastic cover. But like their approach to it is just very, very different, right? Very different. I I like this. I like this. The staccato. It's like got me on the edge of my seat, you know. Let it out. I'm not done yet, so we're going back a bit. Listen to this. They come and they come to build a wall between us. I like the body language. I like watching what singers do with their body language. So when he's doing, he's kind of mixing in with the choir. I'm assuming that like the run goes up and he's doing this like it carries over. It's not short. You know what I mean? Like it's just like it, probably impulsive, maybe a little bit of repetition from practice. But I just I like seeing stuff like that. It just seems like he's just in the moment. Like there's no cameras, there's no lights, there's nothing. I'm just like in the moment. I'm just singing, doing my thing, right? It's just stunning, man. It's just stunning. I'm like almost uncomfortable. But you know that they will win. Beautiful cadence. Come on, man. Yeah, I'd be excited too. 
Oh man, everyone, everyone's excited. Like guitar player killed it, like, like everyone, man. So, okay, so let's talk about the microphone. So I'm gonna turn it down so it doesn't clip a little bit, but I hope, I hope that it's translating. I can't, I don't have like immediate playback in my voice. I can't hear myself right now, but it, it, it's got like a breakup. So my voice might have a little bit of rasp to it just cause like I'm a dude, like I've got bad habits, this and that, drink coffee and these things, like that kind of thing, right? But like, it's also got a, a natural breakup to it. And it's the tube in there. It's like, you, it's the same thing as driving a guitar amp real hard and you start to get like a distortion to it. Or when you turn something up too loud and it just starts to distort like stage boxes, speaker boxes, headphones, like your Bluetooth speakers, stuff like that, car speakers, you know what I mean? But like, there's, there's a certain like organic feeling that comes from that, right? And like it originated in the chase for AM radio and FM radio. FM radio started sounding bad. It started sounding thin and too perfect. So they were trying to chase the AM sound, like the capacity of FM radio, right? And then in the future, now digital and like these recordings, you don't have consoles anymore. You got all this digital processing like I showed you all before with my little, um, my copycat of a Neve console, right? Um, but like there's a lot of things like that that make it sound natural and organic and then it sounds like it's real and it just it's it's like one step closer to that that barrier to entry right like just getting past it because it doesn't sound like a digitally processed vocal it sounds like a real vocal it's got real things happening it's got a tube warming up and distorting over time and changing over time it's not the same on day one as it is on day 100 or use one and use 100 right like it it, it has natural overtones and saturations that just make it sound more genuine and i just find such such a beauty and a passion in that and i appreciate there's a lot of artists that follow that singing to like very similar microphones for specific reasons and i think that he likes this like close proximity cardioid pattern large diaphragm tube pickup or tube microphone because and i think it's great i think it's great i have one <laughs> you know what i mean as a dude i think they're great like uh, you see there's lots of female vocalists who sing into microphones like this or the last one that i watched dan walker sing into um prince sang into the u47 uh, i think this is a u87 but again for kind of intents and purposes they're very similar um i think it's beautiful i think it's stunning and i think there's a reason for it what do you think what do you think let me know down below let me know down below i appreciate this my friends all the way up here from canada chilly white cold canada see everyone again soon <laughs>